All right, we're on to step 11 there. And uh, there's a few steps in this, and so we're just going to break it down. First thing you're going to want to do is grab these little, um, I think they're called Z-motor assemblies. Um, they're distinct looking. And the only thing you really got to watch out for is you need this hole to the outside, because that's where your one of your rods are going to go through. And I got that set up over there. And this is using your typical... Uh, M318 screws and nuts and by now you've kind of recognized right there's you know you're gonna drop a nut there actually not there at this time but um, right there you kind of what I guess what I'm saying is you kind of know what the um, nut and screw locations look like I'll show you this one um, real quick It's just going to go together like this. Oops. I'll kind of swing it that way for you. And you can see how it's got all the spots for more nuts there. And those is what you're going to use to attach it to right there. So I'm just first going to assemble this. Um, Okay, I got it assembled. I'll show you what I did. You just uh, drop the nut inside the little slot there, put the screw in from the top. Same thing on the other side. And you'll notice the feet on the bottom. And again, when you're holding it in this position, you want this uh, hole to be on the outside. And you can kind of verify your work by uh, um, just uh, making sure it lines up over here. It should just go right in. There you go. So um, next, I'm going to actually uh, secure it to that back plate. And to do that, um, you'll see the nuts go here, here, and here, and then the screws come in from the back, and those little holes there, and secure it on. And I'll show it to you when I'm done. All right, got this one installed. Um, again, there's it just goes in the three sides. Turn around for you there. You can see from the back there. There's the three nuts. Now, um, I recommend you put this one in first, and I'll kind of show you on this one. I I got it. Whoops, you can't see that. On that one there. What I mean by putting that inner one in first. So you just want to get your uh, stand there, put your inside nut in, and then um, bring it in like this with the nut in place, and you know shove it in, and then get that first inside screw. If you don't, there's not enough room. Or if you got big hands, there's not very much room for you to get your hand in between the the build plate there and the um you know in that little slot there. And so by putting it in that inside one in first, that'll save you a lot of grief there. The rest of them are pretty easy because you can fit your hand inside here to hold the, these two nuts in place when you screw them in from the back. But so all I got to do is uh, put that stand on. Okay, next we're gonna install our Z, uh, Z axis stepper motors um, the, I recommend you start moving all your labels to the far ends of your cables and this one here I think it says Z1 on it no, I think it just says Z motor I thought they were designated 1 and 2 but Apparently they're not. There is also, oops, sorry about that. There is also the stickers. But they just say, oh, I think that, did, no, it just says Z. Maybe I thought that Z said a 2. So anyways, the way you can tell this is, um, see how short, well, it's not really short, but this cable only goes to the edge of, edge of the table. 
This one goes all the way down to the floor. So obviously the one on the right is longer. And so that's how you can tell. Um, you want your long cable on the right hand side and your short cable on the left hand side. Um, and there's not too much to these. You're going to get your, uh, see what screws we're getting here. M312s. You're just going to need four of them for each side there. And I'll just put one kind of together. And again, you wanted to make sure, see if it shows up. I uh, just want to re-emphasize, see the circle hole there? You want to make sure that little one's to the outside. On both sides there. But this isn't too hard here, you're just going to... Let's see here. Sorry about that. Again, I wish I had a cameraman for some of this stuff. Um, you're just going to put this in through here. Oops, I forgot to show you a step. You want to turn this cable around and there's a little hole. Here, I'll show you. In the back there. You want to run your cable out that, that hole in the back. Probably got it. Oh, actually, kind of got it in the view. Sorry about that. But so you want to run the cable through the hole in the back. Just be gentle with this because you got those um, screws sticking out there. And you just don't want to get that caught on the acrylic. Anyways, then you just drop these screws in and put them in. And uh, you just put all four of them in there and screw them down. Alright, at this point, you can see I just put in the four screws. They just screw straight into the stepper motors. And same thing with the other side. And uh, I'll kind of show you how the cable management work. Nothing too exciting there. Let me show you on this side here. You just kind of pop it out the back there, out the hole there. Um, same, it's the same on the other side. And again, you want to make sure that you run, start running your stickers out to the end so when you get time to plug it in the board, you'll know what wire goes where. Um, here's an example of, this is why I see this wire here. I, I happen to know what it is, but um, I didn't run the cable out, uh, the sticker out to this end so it's not st still on the other end anyhow with that you're done with uh, this step we'll yeah, press on we're gonna assemble our uh, Z stop and stop switch and there's the switch again you want to make sure you put your uh, tags onto the far end and you're gonna need these two mounting plates they'll just stack on top of each other I'll show you that in a minute um, you need uh, two M3 nuts, and you're going to need two M330 screws, and then two M12, or excuse me, M212 uh, screws. Those are just little guys right there. And I'll go ahead and assemble this, and this is all going to go right right there. I'll show you that here in just a minute. Okay, at this point all I did is I put the stepper motor or a, the micro switch onto the um, plate there, the first plate, and uh, you'll notice one uh, slot there is higher than the other, so you want to build this with the right hand side screw higher than the left hand side screw. And so all I'm going to do is uh, stack these plates, put those screws in there, and put it in there. And I'll show you when I'm done with that. Okay, I got it all put together. Um, like I said, you can see the screw on the right side of the, to the right of the stop switch is a little bit higher than the one on the left. And uh, I just tucked the cable through that hole right there and doubled up the... Um, the base plates and then put the nuts on the back side of the plate 
And with that, you should be done with step number 11.